So here's another thing that students often use in their essays. They say explores how. Shakespeare explores how power corrupts, right? Has it, is anyone, you might not even be conscious of it, actually. You, you might actually not be aware of it. So this might sound really foreign, but I guarantee you that if you go and look at a draft essay that you have, you've probably said somewhere in it, it could be in the introduction, the body paragraphs, you've probably said somewhere, Shakespeare reveals how, et cetera, et cetera, or the author reveals how. But that's less sophisticated. This is, and that's why I like that you brought up sophistication because I could speak about this for the whole time. But there are little tricks like this where we can get rid of how and instead what you say is the extent to which or the level to which. So that is even more sophisticated. Shakespeare explores the extent to which power corrupts instead of Shakespeare explores how power corrupts. How is just one of those words that just doesn't sound nice. And part of sophistication, part of the equation there is to have flair in your writing. And notice how this doesn't rely on vocabulary. This is just on a diff on exchanging, on interchanging the word how, which will be your tendency to use for a, a phrase like the extent to which, the level to which, or just write Shakespeare explores the corruptibility of power. So you say the, and then use the noun instead of saying Shakespeare explores how power corrupts. Can everyone see the difference there? Shakespeare explores how power corrupts. Shakespeare explores the corruptibility i'm changing corrupts to corruptibility of power that second one sounds has, has a lot more punch to it so it has more flair so it's more sophisticated sorry, Does anyone have... on, yep. uh, sorry about that just on that note um you were saying three words i just didn't get it down it was was it explore um uh uh capability and ability uh was yeah the capacity the capacity, capacity yeah. yeah yeah good question so the ability for the capacity for mm -hmm. C A P A C I T Y yeah. and the potential, yeah. the potential for. So they're good phrases to lead in to the concept. So I like those phrases because they force you to do the right thing. And if you write those down, now you have to say something more than just a singular word, which, as I said, is not even a theme or a concept. A word by itself is not a theme, it's not an idea. An idea has to be a phrase, right? You have to tell me something.